Text version of this tutorial and link to the source code in the description. To animate your 2D particles with a sprite sheet, go ahead and grab the sprite sheet you want and bring it into your project. I've loaded mine into a separate scene here just to show you what it looks like. Now I'm going to go back to the scene I'll be working in and add a Particles 2D node. Note that this method also works for a CPU Particles 2D node if you're using the GLES2 renderer. So go ahead and configure your particle emitter how you'd like. In my case, I'm going to use the default particles material, but turn off gravity and use a sphere emitter. Next, add your sprite sheet as a texture under the textures tab. At this point, you should see the emitter using the entire sprite sheet as its particle material. Then, under the materials tab, add a new canvas item material and check the particles animation box. You can now configure the animation properties as needed. In my case, I have four horizontal frames and I don't want my animation to loop. So I'll set particles anim h frames to 4 and leave loop unchecked. You should now see just the first frame of animation playing on your particles. To make them animate, go back to your particle emitter and configure the playback of the animation under the animation tab. The Godot documentation does not explicitly state what the unit of speed is here, but after some testing it appears to be how many times the animation should play over the particle's lifetime. So by setting the playback speed to 1, as I'm doing, the animation will play through one time before the particle is destroyed. And that's it! We now have a particle emitter animating from a sprite sheet.